What's happening people? Welcome back to the Sound Design channel. My name is La and today we're going to look at this little remake that I've done for a track called Walking on Water by the Knox and Totally Enormous Extinct Dinosaurs. I really, really loved the, well I love the track, uh, but I love the drop. It just, it's just so big and huge. And so I focus on this lead sound here. <laughs> And then I built all the other stuff around it, which is similar sounding, but mostly the lead was what I was focusing on. So I just play it from here and you'll, you'll hear it in, all in context. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I got it as close as I could. I feel like the original has just a little bit of a deeper body to it, which I can't quite seem to figure out, but uh, I think it's pretty close and uh, the main characteristics are there. So there's quite a lot to go over with the sound uh, as it's quite a big uh, processing chain here, uh, but I'll just go over some of the other little things in here that I've done. So we just have the kick here. Uh, with a little drum bus on, uh, nothing special going on, just a kick taken from Deep Premium Volume 6. We have a little hat loop here, just from the Ben Boma pack, free PML. And this, what's this? The the clap, so a very organic clap. Yeah, with his with the original, this is kind of like a knock kind of clap, not really, um, it's not very open, it's quite short, so that's what I, what I, why I use this sound. Uh, this is empty. And then this is just like a little kind of another little knock that comes in after the clap. So yeah, it's just that little. And then we have just, uh, I think another clap layer here. So just a little bit more of a brighter clap in there, which is turned down quite a bit, so it's not too obvious. And then that is it really. There's this other little things here, like these reverse effects, which is essentially just the uh, the lead sound being frozen and flattened to turn into audio, and then reverse to lead into the next sections, essentially. And then we got a little bit of atmosphere, so some ambience. This is just taken from Deep Premium Volume 6 as well, some ambience in, in a market. Uh, with loads of reverb on essentially and that's it this is em not doing anything and the resist cool so let's get into the lead so the lead uh that i well the place that i started for this sound was in the melodic house pack through fur cloud and pml uh this one here melodic house and it was this lead called attack i won't click on x it will reset the the preset that i've that i've made uh but this preset that i that i got it to i will put it in the description as a free download as well as this channel strip here uh just there's quite a lot going on with it so i don't want to reset it all but basically what we have going on is the we have a sine wave for the sub so we'll just uh to solo this <laughs> so that's taking care of that nice body and we got some another sawtooth in here, which is adding the, the nice harmonic. So it's actually on the same octave. Nothing crazy going on with this. Just a slight change on the fine tune. And then we have a second oscillator here, so oscillator B. So this is adding the unison and and the width to the sound, but they're all on the same octave, so they're all nice and deep, uh, just layered on top of each other. And then if we go to the filter section, we're on this uh, MG Low 24 because we don't, we want it to be quite closed off. And then we have this cutoff filter, which is being modulated with LFO2. So originally, uh, with the preset that you'll get with that attack preset, it will have the modulation will be on envelope two, and it will be this one here. But I turn this off, and I use LFO. Uh, too, because I felt like I had a bit more control over the shape of the the kind of wub effect. So with this off, let me just bypass it. You just hear it. All you're hearing is this sustain. There's an uh, envelope one going into the cutoff filter, or it's just going into the amp, and it's just it's opening up quickly and then closing down. Just like a nice warm body, but then we want the cutoff filter to open up and close back down, but we want it to have a, a kind of a smooth attack, a bit of a warm uh, feeling, which is what we've got with this uh, LFO here. So I'll um, bypass it. So if it was close like here, you're getting that, but we need this kind of, and with this, you can really place the timing of where you want that kind of whoop to be. 
and I felt like it was here, which is where the original. And then you can really control like the volume of this. So yeah, I felt like around here is about right. Apologize for the CPU drop-offs, <laughs> it's because I've got a lot going on here. Uh, cool, so yeah, that's pretty much what's giving it the, the wub feeling, right? So with this Alivo 2, all you do is just put it onto envelope mode and then you leave the uh, the rate where it should be. It should just be at zero or uh, in the middle or 12 o'clock. Uh, and if we go to, come back to the filter section here, we've got a lot of drive. So the, dr the sound is very distorted. That's what I could hear. It sounded very like crushed and, um, but crushed in a nice way, like, it didn't feel like it was super dynamic. It was just like very full. So that's what I was trying to do with like the processing and everything. So I've got this drive here, if we take the drive away. It takes a lot of the volume, volume away and a lot of the saturation. So it really needs that. The fat as well is adding a bit of width. So I left that at 100% as well. Uh, if we go to the effects now, uh, so the chorus is off. The delay is off. We just have reverb, distortion, and this hyper uh, dimension. So there's a bit of mix on both of these. And then I've just adjusted the size to taste. Take off the f effects and you'll hear the difference. So the saturation is adding a little bit, nothing, not much. The mix is quite low. We've got some dimension here. That's important because with the sound, it sounded like it either had like chorus on or it just had this like nice bit of unison and width. And then we also have this reverb here. The reverb's very important as well. The original sound sounded like it was, had quite a lot of reverb on it. So yeah, cool. That is pretty much it for the sound. Nothing else going on there. Let's go into the, in fact, we'll look at the MIDI before we do the processing, because I'll probably forget to show you the MIDI otherwise. I got some help with the MIDI uh, from Madeira. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Really, really great uh, pianist and uh, producer. And uh, yeah, I needed help to hear the chords and he helped me out. So a uh, big shout out to him. Cool, so with the chords, these are, this is what we have. It does evolve later on in the track. Um, there is some little movements here or little like timing changes just at certain sections like here. Just really helps to kind of mix up the rhythm and, and helps with the groove quite a lot cool so let's look at the processing hi this video is sponsored by us if you like these tutorials and want to support the channel please check out our website packed with online courses and professional sample packs also check our ready to use and club tested serum presets you can browse by the genre and style you're looking for or get the incredible deal with the full serum preset bundle Thank you for listening, and now let's get back to your tutorial. I'll turn the processing off if I can. Let me just group this individually. Yeah, and turn it off. So like that, it's quite deep and uh, maybe a bit too, too bassy, and it needs more saturation, and I think it needed to be a bit more squashed, so... And you can hear more of the, the high end of the sound. So let's have a look what I've done. So the first is just an EQ, just to kind of tidy up a little bit, but nothing too crazy going on here. Getting rid of any like super lows here. And then we got some saturation. So saturation is just helping, well, saturate the sound, add a bit of drive to it. I've got it on this hard curve here, uh, quite a bit of width. I took away a bit of the bass, so it didn't, it didn't distort too much and give too much digital distortion, but it sounds, sounds nice and meaty with this on. Yeah, it adds this nice body to it. Bit of OTT, can't go wrong with a bit of OTT, just bringing the sound out in general. And I'll just actually turn these off and then turn them on one by one so you can hear. Yeah, so. So with this, it's controlling it a little bit. It's taming the dynamics a little bit. And it's actually opening the high end up just a very small amount, but nothing too heavy. Uh, let's go to the EQ8. So I'm, I generally EQ quite a lot after each processing just to see what I'm adding and see if I can actually shape the sound with an EQ, which is what I've started to do here. 
So I did a little bit of boosting in the high end here. So you can hear that, that that high end is coming out more. I think I did even more of this with this one here. Let's go along. Yeah, I did quite a bit of a boost here. Uh, how many dB? Like nearly 5 dB. This was quite a, uh, a big shift in the sound. I think it helped quite a lot. Just opens it up so much more, uh, which helps a lot with the sound. So I'm using Duck Buddy here, and Duck Buddy is essentially just a sidechain unit. It's a shaper from uh, Ableton that somebody called Slink, uh, it's like a YouTuber, and he customized it and made it into like a side sidechain unit. I suggest you go check it out. It's really good because uh, you can you can apply a very heavy sidechain without having that annoying click that you get from a compressor in, in uh, Ableton. And that's the reason why I used it. The sidechain is very important for this sound. You really need the sound to, to move with the kick. So if I unsolo it. And we take this sidechain off. You can hear that it's just landing like directly on that kick and you're not getting that kind of groove and, and movement with that it really kind of pulls you in which is which is really nice all right cool so the next thing that i added was a pro l a limiter which is through fab filter the reason why i use this limiter instead of using just the ableton limiter is because the way that i wanted to use this is i wanted to really push the sound into the threshold of the limiter and kind of create this like purposeful distortion and just make the sound feel really full and that's what you can do with uh, like a really good limiter like this. So I'll just show you the what it's doing. So you can see that it's like, it's just like kind of crushing the sound, which is what I want. And if I turn it on and off, you're gonna hear it's a slight thing. I think it's maybe like 5%, 10% that it's adding to the sound and it's making it just feel a little bit more full. You see like here, I'm, I've got nearly 8 dB of gain reduction. It's probably quite, it's quite a lot. Let me just come down a little bit. But yeah, there's a lot of gain reduction. If you did that on like a, a normal limiter for Ableton, you're just gonna hear like this horrible digital distortion. So it's good to, it's really important to get a good limiter that you can kind of push quite a lot because you can get quite creative with it. And obviously you can add quite a lot of volume to your, to your sound. So yeah, that's why I use this. And just another EQ8 afterwards, which is not doing much, but just boosting a little bit more in that high end. So yeah, there we go. That is the sound. Uh, I don't think I did anything else there. No, that's it. Uh, so yeah, I hope this was insightful and helpful in, in some way. I will try to remember to uh, link this whole processing chain and the and serum uh, in the in the description and give it away. Uh, unfortunately, if you don't have Pro L, yeah, it will it will take that away. Uh, you can try it with the Ableton limiter, but yeah, it's uh, I don't think you'd be able to get a similar result. Um, other than that, guys, though, thank you very much for watching this one. Uh, if you enjoyed it and it was helpful, then let us know in the comments. Le leave a like to help with the algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.